What is up, my intergalactic friends? Welcome back here to another Infinite Galaxy content. I'm Shinchi42, your sponsor and content creator. In today's video, we're kind of giving you like a little bit of information in here about Nebula versus Nebula, or let's just say it could be a cross alliance server battle, or whatever that is. But it is going to be something like that. Um, based on what I know, that it is coming soon. It's not far around from the corner. I've mentioned this previously in the videos. June, July is the maturity date of Camel Games Infinite Galaxy. By the way, guys, if you guys are new players that are just watching into this game or you got, you know, you know somebody who is new, uh, we have links in the des description below and um, there's also a new code. So if you're interested, maybe you're starting a new farm account, use this code Shinchi TV. Check it out, download the game and play with the free new code that will help you out boost your game right away so we have been seeing a lot of updates a lot of optimization it's because the next thing is going to happen is us in you know in your nebula going to be fighting other teams in other nebula we are going to be meeting up each other so if you're watching this video we might be fighting with you at some point and like one of the things i want to remind you are, remember this is just a game at the end of the day never take anything personal in this game now, one thing that I want to say as well, there might be a migration as well. So if you guys are interested in coming into TIK or into the Nebula 15, other alliances in here, you are more than welcome to reach out to us and, um, you know, kind of start talking about like, hey, what if there's a migration? Our team got destroyed. We, I still want to play the game. I'm very interested into it. Um, can we join your server? We'll put you in into the top alliances in here, and then you can definitely progress with us and have fun. You can meet new friends. So, you know, don't hesitate to send us a message for that scenario. Um, I am heavily pushing it to the customer support and saying that, hey, we really want to have migration because eventually there are players who will still want to continue to play, but they do not get along with their server. So having a migration allows everybody to to move around and continue to play and keep the game healthy and having that player retention is going to be really good. Now, what I think with the uh, alliance um, cross alliance battle would be, um, it could be something where like, let's say, you know, the event starts now, like here in TIK, we'll pick an enemy. Um, I don't know how that's going to be. Maybe pick a server or whatever, a virtual area, and everybody is going to be there, maybe nine or ten or eight or ten, uh, you know, alliances in one, you know, virtual reality a map or virtual nebula. And then we're going to fight there. It might not just be about fighting. It could be an event thing. It could be fighting pirates. So saving up your energy might be a good thing. Um, you know, doing other events and trying to catch up and win points. Maybe crew summoning. Maybe, you know, something like that. There's a game called Warpath. And, the you know, the server versus server in Warpath, one of the parts of there is like we were competing with like training troops, building. Um, what is that called? Um summoning crews as well same thing warp or summoning commanders in that game so it it's limitless in here what camel games can do is really limitless they can also create a really a server versus server where a there's a virtual map that allows this entire nebula to move into that and then a fight in that you know virtual nebula there's going to be a little area for nebula let's say there's nebula 15 there's 16 17 18 19 20 and then there's going to be like a meeting point so allowing diplomacy uh, making friendship you know making enemies and then fighting in the middle and then capturing the center and get the rewards that way uh, there's many ways that they can do it um if they do a, um, a cross alliance server battle only the question that people have mentioned even here in this alliance or in the server uh, and also outside they have mentioned is like should uh, should uh, alliances consolidate every single player into one alliance i don't think that's the best approach and best idea because first of all you are going to lose a lot of good players that may be a little bit uh not the strongest one um, when you lose them what if the uh, the game changes its mechanics and then it's going to be really bad for the population of the game. I think having the identity and having the uh, alliance remain itself is still a very good thing because having that ability, you know, having that ability to, you know, maintain your alliances, the culture, the fun in the game. At the end of the day, uh, maybe a little bit in my opinion is that having fun about the, with the video game is more important sometimes rather than winning or losing right of course everybody wants to win nobody wants to lose but at the end of the day 
the community, the culture is one of the most important. Like, I get, you know what? Majority of you guys are playing this game. You're still playing this game because you have a very, very good team and you get along with them and you've made friends with them and you got to know what they do in life, what's going on with their life, what their problem is. You have gotten to build that bond. So breaking that bond will make a lot of players quit and that would make the game really bad, in a bad condition if that's what will happen. Um, not necessarily from the developers, but depending on the players as well of each nebulas and servers. Um, for here in TIK, I love the guys in here. Uh, personally, you know, we have allies as well. But in here, of course, I've gotten to know them more often, speaking to them, playing, you know, uh, well, I haven't played different games, but I've seen them play different games as well. To them, so they would stream it. Um, also, just getting to know, like, I pretty much know everybody's, like, life in here, honestly. Um, you know, if I can talk, you know, like, I can mention to you what half of the players here do, where are they from, and that's the kind of leadership that I have in, in this in this game. Um, yeah, so it's just amazing that we've built such great bonds. So basically, here's the thing. Migration is going to happen. Eventually, it will happen. If, if, if Camel Games want to keep the players alive, keep the players moving, they can install a uh, passport uh, migration system and allows the server uh, princeps to be able to control the migration flow in and out. But if they're going to do a cross-alliance server, you know what? One of the issues we have here in our server, uh, looking into the rankings in here, our top players are not in the top alliances. So looking at top five, they are not in the top alliances right now. And th this is an issue, honestly, because these guys can really make a big contribution for the king uh, for, for the server, but they are not in the top alliances. So in, in most case, if they do the alliance versus uh, alliance or cross alliance server, it may be good for certain alliances, like let's say SSS, which is, you know, they have majority of the top players and they have about 62 players in here. They're not like the strongest one, but they can keep their identity if they don't want to like, you know, help out other alliances. Let's say, oh yeah, I just want really to continue playing in our uh, alliance in here. And then we want to battle. Just don't mess with us in here. We won't fight you in the home server. We just really want to just play against alliances versus alliances. That's where our fun's going to be. So it's a great aspect as well for the game for that keeping more players and you know uh, for that as well but then if it's going to be a server versus server when it's going to calculate the entire nebula and you know the matchmaking if these top players affects it and they don't contribute then that's going to be a huge issue especially for a nebula like us because these players will then uh, make the imbalance of matchmaking and, and if they don't contribute, that's going to be really be a, a problem because, like I said, the you know, whales that spend money into the game that did not contribute uh, is, is practically not very helpful. And there's really no value for whales that doesn't fight in the game. So let me know, what do you guys have in vision for a cross-server battle? And also, is it too soon? That they're doing this or is it too uh too late uh you guys have been bored you guys want it to happen sooner what are your opinions about this how do you think camel can improve now if you leave a comment in here and it's such a good and detailed comment we can definitely you know pass that information how you want the server versus server to be um or the net cross alliance battle what type of events are going to come up? What kind of rewards should there be? And how rewarding is it? You know, you also don't want to fight battles to where, like, you're going to lose so much ships and you're not really getting the maximum rewards. I'm more of a reward type of participation base type of player. I don't just compete on every reward just because I can measure, you know, I can measure my ego in there. It's all about the type of rewards that you are going to get. It's really based on that. For the longest time, this alliance did not compete for periodic protocol because of the rewards cost basis. Because back then, the cost basis of doing purity protocol will uh, it would just put you know a lot of warship in repair. And in the rewards, it was great, but it wasn't worth it for all of the warship to repair and have a lot of like you know, repair resources and everything like that. I mean, resources were already hard in this game, you know, trying to get into the top 
top levels in there. So there's that that I want to talk about is that events basis. So hopefully when they're going to make it, it's going to be a really good rewarding event for the Nebula versus Nebula or cross the line server battle. I think it would, you know, if it's worth it, we will definitely, definitely participate on that. Um, but besides that, you know, just let us know what you think. I mean, based on my assumption could be a cross alliance battle and it's going to be really, really soon. So the question is, again, also, if it's a cross-alliance battle, would we be able to take all the buff that we have in here? Or would the buff here remains as neutral as you go into the newer newer, newer virtual map? And you then you have to capture new platforms and new buff and new everything. So that's really a big question. But for most games, you would technically maintain your home kingdom or home server buff. And when you go into that Nebula versus Nebula or the new virtual map is that you can then reclaim new um, new buff and allow you to basically, there's just going to be higher pirates, new, new, new platforms, new buff, and allows you to gain more resources that way and new rewards. But that's the case where like maybe the Nebula will have to, you know, uh, what is it called? Negotiate and stuff. And like, hey, you actually you guys have more, you know, fighting buff in the home kingdom. Now it's, our, you know, maybe we can take some of the buff, you know, come in there. So it's going to be a little bit fair. So we'll have more fighting capabilities, something like that. There's a lot of ways that they can do this. There's really no solid information that has been leaked out yet. There was a little leak on migration, though, um, in Facebook. So keep that in mind. So there is going to be migration. But like, one thing that I want to recommend for camel games, come on, man, like the maps are all the same. Like most of the buffs are right here and right here. They really need to populate buffs into the top right because Alliance is in the top right, like where we are kind of getting screwed on buffs. So this is something that we may want to push to the developers to where like maybe, hey, you know, like you guys open up some new extra, li uh, extra land in the extra areas in here, you know, provide us a little bit more buff. Like, come on. Like, it would be nice and maybe a little, you know, more like plasma and nickel. So that's something that I would love to see in the game. Guys, again, if you guys have any comments or suggestions for the game, leave it down in the comment section below. Let us know. We're definitely interested to see your opinion. What's your version of Cross Alliance Battle or what's your version of Nebula versus Nebula? Anyway, mind your galactic friends. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.